guys, it's been a while since I have it posted in my personal YouTube channel. But the reason why I'm doing this video because I want to update you with what's going on with my life. To some of you, you may have known this already, but I want to update you all that I've already transitioned out in full-time ministry. After almost 10 years of God's faithfulness, uh, here I am, uh, not in full-time ministry anymore. But I'd like to share you my journey of what happened because there are things that I'd like to share with you that I haven't shared with everyone. <laughs> So, but before that, I'd like to shout out Michael Jackson, who is in my back. Uh, currently, I'm not in the Philippines. I'm in Las Vegas. So, hi to Michael Jackson. <laughs> so, as I share you my story of me transitioning out, it started in 2018. Especially when I was in New York, in Columbia University, and when I was at the U United Nations. Somehow, God was impressing to me, giving me ideas that I'll be doing things beyond the ministry. And that's something that I can't recon, uh, reconcile because I know that when I said yes to full-time ministry 2012, I know that I will do this until the day I die because I know I'm called here and I'm enjoying what I'm doing and I'm working with amazing people. But somehow, even with that impression, uh, it also excited me because the plans of God for me is not just here in the country but even beyond the Philippines so that somehow excited me even if it's it was unclear yet so <laughs> because of no certainty yet of what God was saying I just shrugged it off <laughs> I just shrugged it off and then fast forward 2020 we all know the pandemic happened and in mid 2020 there was an opportunity where uh, there's an opportunity where I can transition out. The setup is favorable in transitioning out. But when I prayed and fasted, God told me, not yet. So at least with that, I know God was already pointing me to a different direction. I'm just waiting for His timing. And then, uh, 2020 of December, I told my senior pastor, Dennis Isleta, during the time, Pastor Dennis, pastor Dennis that I told him that I'll be transitioning out. Shared, I shared him my journey and I'll be going out April of 2021. And here's what he said. Neil, it doesn't matter if you are in full-time ministry or not. What matters if the ministry is inside of you? And that struck a chord because doing things for God is not just being in full-time ministry, being a pastor, but it's us advancing the kingdom of God, being faithful, being fruitful with whatever God has entrusted to us, right? So that encouraged me, okay, so the vision continues of honoring God and making disciples. But here's what he said, Neil, just say to the new senior pastor of Victory Makati, Pastor Dennis C, that... <laughs> you'll be transitioning out so that when they plan, they will consider you transitioning out. So that's what I did. 2020 January, 2021 of January, our first physical meeting, told Pastor Dennis my plans. And he said, bro, we will support, support you with whatever God will bring you. As long we know that it's God, we will support you. Of course, we love you, we'll support you. But here's what he said, but just continue to pray about it. And if Ever, if you can stay more or at least stay longer <laughs> so of, of course I said yes to Pastor Dennis C because I just don't want to leave Victory Makati hanging especially with the new senior pastor uh, coming in there's a lot of change and alam mo naman tayo mapagparaya tayo yeah <laughs> so I wasn't really adamant with my timing because with what happened uh, we know we want to be all hands on deck so during the time, um, Pastor Dennis just told me to talk to pastors, mentors, leaders. So that's what I did. There were different responses. But what I'm glad is they shared what they know they heard from the Lord. So I'm just grateful to all those who were there who gave me wisdom and direction. And fast forward 2022, we are here. And the change of senior pastor role in Victory Makati somehow settled. So, pwede na siguro yun. <laughs> But 2022 was really the right time. Uh, and as of this recording, I'm already, I already transitioned out because my last uh, official full-time ministry staff was until April 15. So, wala na. And 
even if I'm outside the ministry or full-time ministry, I'll still continue to serve. Me and KS will continue to serve in Victory Makati and I'm glad that I'll be given opportunities again by Pastor Dennessy even if I'm not in full-time anymore. And it's, it's just my passion in just serving the Lord. So with whatever vocation I am in, I'll just continue, uh, especially if uh, schedule permits. So I'm just glad that uh, we can serve the Lord in whatever way we can. And since I'm already transitioning out or I transition, uh, I'd like to let you all know, especially if you are from the Tuesday service, Wednesday service, or was Tuesday, Wednesday service in singles ministry or in whatever groups that I have led or co-labor with you. Uh, I'm, I, I'm really glad for all of your time, your effort, for your feedback, your correction to me, and also to those who I have offended, I'm really sorry. Patawarin nyo ako. I'm really, really sorry. Just uh, let me let let me know if I have offended you. I'd like to personally say I'm sorry. But again, thank you so much for for all that you do for the ministry, co-laboring with the Lord. So thank you so much, and I'm just glad uh, for the ten years. Ay, ito na. I'm just glad for the ten years of being in full-time ministry because I won't be the person who I am today. I'm just <clears throat> glad with all the opportunities, um, experiences, uh, the correction, the feedback. It allowed me to be the person who I am today. So I'm just really thank you. Thank, I'm, I just want to thank the Lord and thank you to all of you who were there, especially when I was started. Maraming 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 salamat. Okay, and the question next is Neil, <clears throat> excuse me, what will you do next? What will you do next? So I'll be in real estate and <laughs> you'll see me more often in YouTube and other social media platforms and I'm also currently uh, taking up schooling, uh, another uh, bachelor's degree. Also I'll be in uh, cryptocurrency and also I'll be doing corporate talks or I'll just continue the corporate talks. So there's just so much in store but what's amazing is in the journey of this transitioning out, God was just affirming me, Neil, wherever you are, I am with you. I am for you. I am ahead of you. So, wherever you are in, God, God is with me. So, even with the midst of the change, even with the overwhelming task that I will do, I know that God is with me and He's giving me the peace. I know it's not going to be easy, but what? But what I am sure, God is with me. And of course, it's, it's not easy to transition now. Especially 10 years of your life, you were with amazing people. So, and ba to? Kaya to, kaya to. So yun, um, just want to let you know, thank you so much for just bearing with me for all the time. And yeah. Uh, even if I'm not in full-time ministry anymore, I'm still here. I'll still be asking, how are you? How can I pray for you? And ayun, maraming maraming salamat. Even with the midst of the changes that God will do in my life, I know at the end of the day, it will all, all be because of the grace of God. So, see you soon. See you around. And just like what I always say, the best is yet to come.